<laughs> Anyways, um, last one, last one before I leave because I got to leave and go to the gym. Last one, I got to leave and go to the gym before I get to fucking work. Um, big up all of you tuning in. Appreciate all of you that are tuning in here live. If you're live in the live stream, please make sure you smash the like button down below for me. Like the like stream down below for me. Give me some power and strength by liking the stream so that I can go to the gym. I can come back. I can shower. I can go to the dentist and fix my rotten teeth and then I can go to work. Help me out. Like the stream. So this is courtesy of Over and Under. Over and Under have posted this picture. The first look at the a Cold Wall, Sammy Ross's brand, a Cold Wall and Nike TN98 collaborations. These are pretty sick. I know some of you won't like them. I know some of you are going to go crazy and like, I guess, you know, you're freaking out. Essentially, it's a classic TN that looks like it's been covered in fucking paint. Imagine your builder friend. Imagine your contemporary artist friend. Imagine your sculptor friend. Imagine your designer friend. Imagine your handyman friend, right? Wearing a pair of Nikes that they wear to the studio that they wear to work every single day and they're covered in muck maybe the soles aren't really worn in too much but they're just comfortable shoes that they get to put on every single day that make them feel instantly that they're at work that makes them instantly in the moment that clicks them on that solidifies them that grounds them and makes them feel like they're ready to work that day these are what these tns do for me but more than ever what these TNs do for me, these um, paint splattered work covered TNs, they remind me of this legendary pair that Sammy Ross did for Cold War back in the day. I remember, again, I can't, there's not a lot of footage of these early shows on YouTube. I wonder if, if he purposely took them down, but some of the early uh, Cold War fashion shows were so theatrical. They were so amazing, so immersive. There'll be performances, there'd be incredible soundtracks. There'd be really interesting um, architecture and installations on the runway. And just a really cool and interesting way that somebody like him who isn't formally trained would kind of announce himself on a fashion circuit. It was fucking cool. A lot of people would be like, oh, he's kind of sucking himself off. It's a little bit too, you know, um, navel gazily, whatever it may be. But I loved it. I thought it was really cool. One thing I really loved about it was that he would always go out of his way to sort of like create these little custom um shoes that he would give to the models and at first the collection i think he used to do this kind of dip dyeing thing where he'd have like a bucket of dye and he'd chuck you know a pair of air force ones in them take off the laces maybe stitch the sole the tongue onto the whatever add a fucking tag on it and shit customize them bit by bit and obviously put them on the models and they'd obviously tie in a bit with the theme of his kind of collection maybe it'd be architectural maybe it'd be something based on materials wherever it may be but they'd look very similar to his collection overall so that's what he did eventually but then obviously over time because they were so popular and because he was gaining traction nike came and knocking and they gave him an official collaboration right i think the first official one was these air force one mids um with the laces just at the bottom of the top which are fucking cool and really great so from doing these custom dye jobs and spray paint jobs whatever he did on the runway it eventually led to him doing an official nike collaboration and now i think to date if I'm trying to count, again, my a Cold War knowledge isn't the greatest, but I think he might have like five official Nike shoes under his belt, all from just doing these DIY type of things um, with fucking Nike Air Force Ones by dip dyeing them, by spraying them, by burning them and whatever piece of just trying to make it happen with little resources that he had when he was first getting introduced to fashion. So I think it's just a pretty cool, um, you know, full circle moment that now he's doing the same thing kind of they used to do quote unquote officially illegally he's now doing them legitimately with nike and i hope this is official collaboration i pretty much think it is it kind of reminds me again of the margella um you know army shoes that are also covered in paint right remember those ones uh margella army shoes um with paint i think there's one where it's got like a, it's covered in white paint it's kind of crackled and over time you wear it and it sort of like cracks and stuff and it reveals the underside again it's very particular sort of taste i know most people won't like them but it's basically this it's like a replica it's like painted so it kind of reminds me of these um maison margella they've got these shoes that they basically look like they've been they, they have been painted all white and then over, over time they kind of crack so these tns kind of remind me of it so he must be proud as well again full circle moment you go from doing up yourself unofficially to then getting a collab with fucking nike on a pair of t and they look fucking sick and again this could just be a custom they did himself and they're not actually legit but i'm hoping they are and we see them soon because i actually would all like a pair 
I know it's very Marmitey. Most people won't like them, especially because TNs are a bit of a Marmite Air Max anyway. But I feel like they've been done really well. You got again paint covered on the entire uppers, no laces and shit and stuff going through and hopefully we get some news on them soon again no official news so far but i just saw them on social media and i thought i would cover them because why the hell not why the hell not why the hell bloody not <laughs>